Hi, I'm George Argo with Argo Electrical Services, and I am the surge protector guy. And today we're going to talk about how to wire a 30 amp sub panel. What we have here is a sub panel that's rated for 100 amps. Now, you're not going to be able to go into your local parts store and buy a 30 amp rated sub panel. The lowest one you'd be able to get is 60 amps. What makes this a 30 amp panel is what's feeding it. You would always want to get a rating on your box that's greater than the service that you need. So if you needed a 30, you wouldn't want to go no less than a 50. Here we've got a three wire with a ground number 10 set that is feeding our panel for 30 amps. And when I say number 10, it's what number 10 is the wire that it takes to feed a 30 amp sub panel. You've got one line right here and one line right here, which makes it 240 volts. You have the white wire, which is your neutral or common wire. And then you have the ground wire that is attached to the ground bar. It's very easy to wire, but don't, don't mix up your hots with your neutral wire. Um, if you're not comfortable with, do this, call, with doing this, call on a licensed electrician. Once again, my name is George Argo with Argo Electrical Services, and I am the surge protector guy. And you've just watched how to install a 30-amp sub-panel.